This section's awfully stubby. Info from Firewall needs to be added after River's death. She, Vastra, Jenny, Strax and Clara were brought into a dream-induced conference call. There, she learnt that the murderer Clarence DeMarco revealed to Vastra the coordinates of the doctor's tomb. The Great Intelligence, having kidnapped Vastra, Jenny and Strax, then told Clara to take the eleventh doctor to Trenzalore, the place of the doctor's death, if the others wished to be saved. River kept in contact with Clara through keeping the link open, though, seemingly, only Clara was able to see her. When Clara and the doctor arrived at a gravestone bearing River's name in Trenzalore, Clara again saw the echo of River, which guided her. She also explained to Clara about her death and what the doctor did for her, and later saved the doctor's friends by giving in to the great intelligence's demands and opening the doctor's tomb by saying his name. After Clara entered the doctor's time stream, River tried to stop him from following her, even though she believed that he could not see her. When she went to slap him however, the doctor caught her hand and explained that he had been able to see her all along, and they shared a kiss. The doctor told River that her time had passed and she should stop clinging to him as an echo. Without disputing this, River requested that the doctor say goodbye to her but he didn't know how, so she said the only goodbye she would accept was one where he would see her later. Right after the doctor granted her request, she revealed that she was mentally linked to Clara, and would not still exist if Clara had died. When he asked how Clara could be alive, she said, spoilers, and her last words to him in this encounter were, goodbye sweetie. River's incorporeal form faded away. To the Paternoster gang, the doctor had appeared to passionately kiss thin air. TV. The name of the doctor.